Okay, hello everyone. So today um, we're going to be talking about impulse control and the reason for uh, doing that this week is because as people start to venture out a little bit more as lockdown is eased, um, no doubt distractions are going to come up. Um, the two main distractions that will probably arise is dog distraction and people distraction as obviously over the previous couple of months um, we haven't been in a position to introduce them uh, to either of those. Um, so what we advise is um, obviously at whatever age of the puppies the odds are that they're probably slightly behind from a socialisation point of view to a normal pathway in normal times. However, despite this, time is very much our friend in all of this and the process obviously has been slowed completely. So don't venture out too quickly and don't rush your pups into potentially new areas if you're allowed to go in those areas, of course, too fast because time is our friend. So what we may have to do is to take a step back and potentially use more training treats than normally we would do depending on the age of the pup and what we can also do is if your pup starts showing a particularly strong distraction to say dogs um, then what we can do with that is use a higher reward treat for but just for the purposes of the distraction to other dogs so basically for your training walks to continue to use the dog's own food in kibble um, and then you can have a higher reward treat such as you know a gravy bone bonio sprat or something like that and very similar to what we say when we advise novel treats for recall use a different novel high reward treat that they only get when they're getting the required behaviors around these highest distractions so for example you're walking along your walk's going normally normal kibble the highest distraction your dog has may be another dog so you see another another dog coming and that's when you start to use the higher reward treats and you're getting the behaviors that you like which we'll go over soon and then once you're past the dog for 10 15 meters back to the normal kibble. So basically, in a scenario where your dog finds extra hard, we're giving them extra incentive to do the behaviors that we want. Okay, um, so um, we're going to concentrate on impulse control today. And impulse control is used when your pup is distracted by something obvious in the environment. So by that, what I mean is obviously pulling towards a person, obviously pulling towards a dog, obviously pulling towards a leaf blowing in the wind or a bag of chips or crisps on the floor. Um, this is different to, uh, and we don't want this to be confused with what we do with loose lead walking, and we will continue to advise that for loose lead walking, if your puppy just randomly pulls, as puppies tend to do, towards nothing obvious, but just say like energetic, uh, boisterous pull, then just to use your directional changes, uh, which is on another video on the YouTube channel. So basically the end goal of what we want with impulse control is for your puppy to see the distraction, knows that it's never been able to get closer to, to that distraction, so there isn't any point in pulling, and instead we'll look up at the handler who will give them a very nice alternative, such as a high reward treat or just their own food in some cases as well. Um, always set the pup up to succeed in the best way possible. Um, be that out and about or practicing an impulse control at home. Only practice impulse control if you think it's going to mentally challenge the pup but isn't going to challenge it at the point where it's going to cause anxiety and frustration. If the situation approaching you or out and about in the environment is going to be too difficult and too frustrating for the pup to use impulse control, then use the emergency law, uh, which I'm going to record now and I will show after this video. Okay, thank you.